Hi class, today I have an easy exercise for you guys to practice. Well, let's do it together and let out your creativity. Click Start Program and choose Adobe CS3 and choose the program Adobe Illustrator CS3. Maybe you have to wait a bit for the computer to run the program. Click File on the menu bar and then choose New. A window will pop up and you can adjust your new working space from here. On the name, on the name, I want you to name this piece with your ID number. For example, 39333 This is my ID when I was an undergrad student. Then type underscore animal. Because this assignment is about drawing an animal with letters, choose the size to be A4. For orientation, click the vertical, the left icon. This function will adjust your working space either horizontal or vertical. And you can also adjust the window to, oh sorry, you can expand the window to make an advanced adjustment. The color mode has to be RGB. And then the raster effect as 72. And the preview mode as default. When you finish the adjustment, click OK. You will get a working space. Whatever appears within this frame will be on a printing output. Anything placed outside will not be printed. Also, the black line will not appear on print out. So, it means it appears on screen only. Type your name on the upper left corner. Here, this is my name, Smith, S-M-I-T-H, Bunchutima, B-W-O-N-C-H-U-T-I-M-A. Well, I forgot to tell you that you have to click the, click on the Type tool as well. Then you have to press Enter and type down Animal with an A in a capital letter. Then choose the selection tool to select this area and we will just assign just a size a bit 21 part will be big enough to read. I assume that you guys know how to use text tool and selection tool. Let's start an animal. We will use text tool again. I like drawing a worm because it is so easy. We'll use the letter O in a capital letter. When you would like to adjust its size, you have to press the shift key. But when you would like to make the capital letter, you also have to press the shift key when you type. When you use the selection tool to drag and adjust its size, I would I would like you to press shift on your keyboard to maintain the proportion of the font. By pressing shift, your letter will not appear distorted. When I mark your work, I will reduce point for re the distorted font. So don't forget to press shift every time when you adjust the size. I will draw a worm with Century Cortic, Century Cortic, the letter C, okay, Century Cortic, okay. Since this font appear in a very smooth and round shape. I want you to make more copies of the letter O. Press Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. Make more circles to create a worm. You may notice that this is difficult to select each circle. It will be easier to adjust or move once you change them into an outline image. Uh, click outline. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, you just have to choose type and create outline. Okay. Choose the font, go to type, create outlines. 
you will see that it is really easy to move or adjust this character when you change it into image. If your items are not in image format, it's quite difficult to select each circle. So I suggest using the command type create outlines. You may do it in an easier and quicker way with single click. Use right click and choose create outline. Right click and create outline. Okay, let's create our worm. Adjust the size a bit because worm meant to be very small. Don't forget to press shift button. Now we put each circle to form a worm's body. One more circle for his rear, which need to be a bit smaller than other parts. Now then we create a V in capital letter to make his antennas. And the antenna quite big, right? Okay, so it look more obvious. Right click, create outline to change it into the format and adjust the size. Don't forget to press the shift key. And I would like to make his leg by using the letter M in a capital letter again. And again, right click and create outlines. And make more copy of the letter M by pressing Ctrl C and Ctrl V. This is just to copy and paste. Very simple. For his eyes, I think we can use a dot. We can use a dot on your keyboard. Type dot. And don't forget to right click and create outline. See how cute. Make another line by copy and paste. Ctrl Z and Ctrl V and move his eye to the position. Um, what can we use for a smile? What about a round bracket like this? Don't forget to change it to image first as well. Don't, and now you have to use the rotate tool to adjust its angle. Then we will put it here. That's it. What a nice smile. Done. We have finished drawing a cute worm.